Hey, welcome back. Good morning. We're in 1 Samuel. Now we're in chapter 13, verses 1 to 4. Saul is king, and let's see what happens next. Saul reigned one year, and when he had reigned two years over Israel, Saul chose for himself 3,000 men of Israel. 2,000 were with Saul in Mishmash and in the mountains of Bethel, and 1,000 were with Jonathan in Gibeah of Benjamin. The rest of the people he sent away, every man to his tent. And Jonathan attacked the garrison of the Philistines that was in Geba. And the Philistines heard of it. Then Saul blew the trumpet throughout all the land, saying, Let the Hebrews hear. Now all Israel heard it said that Saul had attacked a garrison of the Philistines, and that Israel had also become an abomination to the Philistines. And the people were called together to Saul at Gilgal. So again, there were these armies. Saul sends most of them home. He keeps 2,000 warriors to be with him, 1,000 with his son, Jonathan, the, the heir to the throne, of course, the obvious heir, the king's son. And who does the attacking here? Is it Saul or is it Jonathan? It's Jonathan. And we're going to meet Jonathan here now. And the first thing we find out really about Jonathan is he is an energetic military leader. Jonathan attacks the Philistines. Now, we'll find out tomorrow morning why attacking the Philistines was, was a pretty bold move for the Hebrews. The technology that the Philistines have and the numbers compared to the Hebrews, it's, it's grim stuff. We'll save that for another day. But here we have Saul. They recognize that there's going to be a fight now. And so they call out the Israelites and they all come out to, now they come back, they're going to stand up and defend themselves. They heard that Saul had done this. Well, in a way, of course, Saul had done it through Jonathan, his son. But we don't really see here that Saul told Jonathan, go and attack the Philistines. What we see is that Jonathan goes and does it. And then Saul reacts. Saul is reacting. I think that Jonathan did this and Saul reacts to it. It. And so this might have been a frustrating piece for Saul because uh, Jonathan is is opening the door into a, a lot of a lot of mayhem and chaos again. But Jonathan is is wanting to stand up for the people of God. And so anyway, interesting how it all works itself out here. But it looks like now there's going to be another there's going to be another war. And so all Israel comes out. But anyway, this is our introduction to Jonathan. He's got energy. He is standing for God's people. And he takes his thousand men, addresses this, and this becomes known. And so now, now everybody's going to come out and sharpen their weapons, whatever they've got. Uh, lessons for us, application for you and me. It seems to me that in this one that Jonathan's a good guy. Uh, Jonathan, he's kind of picking this fight, though. But the Philistines have been an Ammonites and so on. They've all been kind of causing issues in that land. But Jonathan, now that there's an army, Jonathan's defending. And I want to say I'm thankful for that. And many times the church is just, the church just, follows along. It just supinely does what the world tells it to do. Jonathan is aggressively sort of saying no. If we had more leaders in the vein of Jonathan, I think things might be different in God's church. Jonathan is bold. He has faith. We'll see that here coming right up. And Jonathan is, is out there defending God's truth and God's people. Uh, but already Saul is kind of like into this reactive mode. Oh, Jonathan has done this. So we don't really know all the facts here, but we know what the, what the Bible tells us. These things are facts, and so we know there's a big fight coming up. And again, for you and I, we need to be energetically doing God's things. We can wait till tomorrow, or we can wait till the day after tomorrow, or we can wait till the day after the day after tomorrow, but there will be more hearts that need Jesus, and some of them perhaps will die on their way to eternity. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be bold and full of energy, help us to be wise, help us to actively use our faith in being Christians. Thank you, Lord, that we can be soldiers like Jonathan and, and the soldiers with him for truth, soldiers for Jesus. Now, thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. There are certainly some things we can do day by day, more energetically, do it with more might for Jesus than perhaps we've been doing. Hey, God be with you in all that you do.